right, so this video is about calves, as you would have seen about the caption of the video. Um, there's just a couple of key points I want to point out when you're training your calves. Firstly, you don't want to start off too heavy. You want to start off actually with no weight or very light um, and get your form right. Really feel for the contraction in the calf. Um, secondly, don't ego lift. Like everyone says, drop your ego at the door because calves are something you can go heavy on, but you also do have to go fairly light and get that high rep range. Um, so basically, yeah, we just did do some calves. I would usually do them with an arm day or something like that because it's one of those body parts that I really do want to work on. Um, so it's just a little muscle group you can put out at the end of a workout or while you're sitting there sipping on your pre-workout. Um, so we're basically going to hop into a voiceover and I'll explain some more key points of how I'm setting up the equipment, all that sort of stuff. Alright, so we're going to start off with the standing calf raise using the Smith machine. This is going to target your gas shock nemius. Um, so we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to use the block. Um, I'm going to place it on the ground first, and then we're going to lower the Smith machine bar down as far as we can go, as close as we can go to the block. So we're going to make sure it's all even on each side so that you're going to maximize working both sides evenly as much as possible. Um, so with this, I used 20 kilos, so 10 kilos on each side, which is fairly light. Um, so what I did today, I did high reps which to me, you can go heavy or you can go light. Um, but if you want to maximize your squeeze, start off light or start with none. So if you notice my toes are at the end of the block there and I'm driving all the way down to the floor with my heel and then driving up as much as I can while squeezing the calf at the top. Um, so taking my heel down to the bottom is going to give me a nice big stretch in the calf, which is going to add length to your calf, which is, which is really what you want whilst building your calves. Um, so you can really see it here. Heel goes pretty much touching the ground and then I drive up and squeeze. So as you can see, that is gonna add length to your calf. It's not just a half rep, it's a full rep all the way down to the bottom. Um, so now your seated calf raise, that works your soleus. So that's why you always wanna include two calf exercises in your leg workout. So you work both the muscle groups in your calf. Um, if you notice, my hands are at the back of the machine there. So that's going to stop me from cheating. So it's using my calves throughout the whole movement. Um, as again, you see my toes come off the pad and then I squeeze, heel goes to the floor. Do that again. Do that again. The left side's not as big, eh? That's 